everybody my name is Kimba Luke and welcome back to my channel and today I have for you a video card upgrade or GPU upgrade graphics card upgrade what do you want to call it I I took the uh, 750 the GeForce GTX 750 Ti out ended up buying a EVGA 950 SSC but it was too big so I had to uh, so I sold both of those, got rid of both of those. Now I just ordered and got my EVGA 950SC, which is smaller one fan uh, GPU. So I'm going to show you how to install that today. So basically this is a fresh install on an HP 550-126 HP Pavilion. So, and I'll show you pictures, you know, of the computer and... This is the graphics card I will be buying, or be buying, be using. So, nice uh, little graphics card. It's the supercharged edition. And you got your DVI, HDMI, or DVI, D, DVI, HDMI, and whatever else. I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is yet. I can't remember. But the HDMI is the only one I'm really worried about. So, and it comes with this little doohickey. What that is, it takes uh, power supplies, turns into one. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? All right, there's a screw on the back of the computer for the case here, the case lid. So you just want to remove the one screw, pull it out. All right. Now there's the gets. Then over here on the back of it, bring you guys over. Ugh. Right here. There's a screw right here. You gotta remove that, and this lifts up and out. That goes to the side. And now the GPU is gonna require two slots, so make sure two of these are open. All right. All right. So it's gonna go right here in the PXI or PCIe 16 slot. Or I can't remember what the hell it's called. I'm tired. I'm doing this late night, so just bear with me, guys. But let's get to it, shall we? This is basically a plain install, other than the fact that it needs a 350 watt plus power supply. I got a 420 watt that I reinstalled because the original only came with a 180 watt. So if you are doing this for the first time, you're gonna need at least a 350 watt power supply. At least go to 400. I would suggest 500. That way, if you plan on upgrading your video card. Later on, you'll already have it. I went with a 420. So, first, you're going to want to unplug this little power adapter that's to the CPU. That's going to create some room. Now, this isn't as big as my 750 Ti, so this should be a pretty easy install. You got to make sure you remove that little rubber cover. There we are. And it's going to fit in just like that. It's going to hook up. And you're just going to snap it in. There's a little bracket down here. Make sure that's a little open. Can't really see it, I don't think, all the way down there. But there's a little bracket that you just got to open. And just kind of maneuver it in. Nice and easy. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh might have to create some more room. Let's see here. See, that's power supply there. Well. Unhook that from the hard drive. That's the SATA for the hard drive. All right, now we got plenty of room. All right, look how easy that was. All right, guys. All right, just gotta make sure and put those through the holes on the back first. All right, and then you're gonna set that thing down. Press it down a little bit. Make sure that little latch on the back of the bracket there is in. Your video card's installed. And all we have to do really now is uh, hook up the power. So we got these pin power supplies. So we got to find a set of power supplies that. Go with that. And here we are. 
damn it. <laughs> God, zip tied. Wonderful. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, uh, I forgot to mention that um, if this is your first time working on a computer, be sure before you uh, open the case, you touch something metal to discharge any static electricity off because just one little uh, static electricity shock can fry your shit and it'll be worthless to you. So, all right, now I got, I got that little uh, zip tie off now. These here are what you need. They're going to plug in to these two to give you the one power supply that you need because this is going to need a little extra power so that's why this is here so you're just going to plug these in and there we go maybe maybe baby alright there's one make sure it snaps in place it only goes in one way guys because that connector is only shaped one way Maybe. Two. All right. Now we're golden. Now we got these two going to the one. Like I said, this comes with it. And then you just got to find that damn. <sighs> That's right there. Right on top. And you plug that in. Make sure it snaps in place. And ta da, you're basically done. Now I'm going to zip tie some of this up to make it nice and neat. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay? Because I can't stand all the wires jiggling around. You don't. You want to kind of straighten it up, not just for like neatness' sake, but to keep these wires from bouncing around on any fans. That's kind of important. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin your stuff. Okay, guys. Now I got these things zip tied up and out of the way. Now, just kind of push them off to the side. Now we're gonna make all of our connections again. We got the GPU connected. That's very important because it needs the extra power because it's bad. This thing's a bad boy. It's supercharged, which means it's overclocked. And then we got to put the power plug for the CPU back in. Put the SATA cable back on the hard drive and the power supply for the hard drive. Put that right back on. Okay. I got that out of the way. Now we're going to gently, I guess, that'll be alright. So, first thing you want to do is make sure there's nothing touching the, the fan of the GPU or the CPU. Very important because, like I said, it'll burn up the fan. If the fans burn up, your shit's going to burn up and then you're done. So, there's nothing in the way of the fans. We're all good to go. We can put the case back on. And that's it. That's the installation. Now, there's some software stuff that we'll get to, but I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, everybody, my, uh, here I am back. Now we're on with the software update part of the process. Once you have your computer on, everything plugged back in and up and running, you can go to NVIDIA's website or pop in the installation disk that came with it. And then you're going to go there and this is going to come up. Now it has searched and up updated to my new GPU. So it's telling me that there's all this stuff that I can download for it. So let's close that out. Go to my rig. And we need to, let's see, drivers, sorry. Let's check for updates again, just in case. I always do it. And then it's going to find updates, and then you're going to install them. So, and it already has... So I guess it just installed them as it was updating. So my uh, GPU is good to go right now. So we go to my rig. You can see the GeForce GTX 950. And then, it, of course, you know, it says my little stuff there. So that's it. Like I said, uh, if you don't know what's going on, just go to NVIDIA's website. I'll show you here. NVIDIA.com And then you're going to go to wherever you're from. I'm U.S. of course. Uh, let's see. GeForce drivers. Or all drivers. But if you're on this one, you're going to want GeForce drivers. 
and then you just download this here right there and that will search automatically just do whatever it tells you to do and then auto detect your GPU do that first and it'll tell you and I can't wait to uh, check this uh, GTX 950 SC out so going from the 750 Ti to the 950 SC SC standing for supercharge if you have a bigger computer see the pavilion the case on it's not as big as uh, I would like it to be but otherwise I would have kept the S SC which is the super supercharged I mean how can you not like that so I was telling me I gotta update my Java so anyway that's it um, once you download this it'll take you to this so thank you for joining me and as always show me some love show me some hate but show me something otherwise see on the flip side peace out and happy game people